Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to install MongoDB server in our local machine. So to download the MongoDB server, go to the official website that is mongodb.com and just go to the server tab. Now choose your operating system and the package. So if you are using Windows operating system, then I would highly recommend to download the MSI package that is basically installer, not the zip. So from here, you can download it for the 64-bit machine. So if you have 32-bit system machine, then here is the URL to download for the 32-bit. From here, you can download the MongoDB server for 32-bit. So just download the setup and run it. It is very simple process to just click on the next. So I have already done it. So if you go inside the program files, then you will see the MongoDB directory will get created. So go inside the server, the version and bin. To start the MongoDB server in our local machine, we need to run the mongod.exe file. So run it. So it has not started. We might have faced some error. So here there are two things we need to do after the installation. The first is creating two folders inside the C drive. And the reason is that we have mongodb server inside the C drive. So let's go to the C drive and here we need to create two folders. One is data and inside data we need to create db. If you have installed mongodb server in D drive, then you need to create these folders inside the D drive. But follow this hierarchy C drive, data, db. In the same way, if you have D drive, then D drive, data, db. Now the second thing is we need to run one command for storage engine. So here is the command and I'm going to provide this command in the attachment of the lecture. So you can get it easily. So copy this command, go inside the bin directory of mongodb server, open the command prompt and just paste it and run. See, it has started the mongodb server on port 27017. So yes, we have successfully installed and started mongodb server in our local machine. Now these two things we don't need to do each and every time we want to start the mongodb server in our local machine. So if you look at the db directory, then you will see there are some files and folders being created by the mongodb. So don't alter anything in this because this is going to be managed by mongodb. Whatever database and collection documents we are going to have, it will get managed by mongodb in this directory. So don't change anything in this. Now the second thing is about that command of the storage engine. So let's stop this uh, mongodb server and close it. And now if you want to run it again mongodb server in our local machine, just run this exe file that is mongod.exe. See, it has started the mongodb server on port 27017. So creating the data and db directory, running the storage engine command is just one time process while installing the mongodb server. After that, we just need to run this mongod.exe to start the mongodb server in our local machine. If you are using operating system other than Windows like Ubuntu or Mac and you are facing issue while installing or starting the mongodb server, then drop me a message or post in the question and answer board and I will get back to you. So in this lecture, we have installed MongoDB server and started it in our local machine on port 27017. So that's all for now. We'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.